Hey everybody, we're back doing part two of this Joan of Arc campaign, and uh, sorry I cut out on you in a little, a uh, little bit at the end in the last video. Uh, that was just because uh, I accidentally deleted a 15-second video that I didn't realize was part of uh, was the second like file to my videos. Because once I go for so long, it creates automatically creates a second file on Fraps, and I was like, oh, it's probably some other test file I had. So. Um, Sorry about that, uh, but we're moving on here. I did destroy that guard tower right there, and uh, we're just gonna trample right through uh, the Burgundian village. Try to stay away from those guys. All right, guard tower's out of sight there, and uh, this this mission should be over real quickly. You should be able to move on to the Maid of Orleans, the second mission in the Joan of Arc campaign. But this one's like, seriously, this one is like the easiest mission in, in in all of Age of Empires. So it's not a big deal that we're completing it pretty quickly. Um, but if it, 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 Age of Empires is definitely a challenging game, but it's not like too overwhelming if you just stay. F oh, okay, we got some more dire wolves here. Okay, I don't like this. Let's have some pikemen gang, uh, gang up on them. Get some long. Uh, Long spears I can take them down with. That'd be nice and handy. Stay out of the way of the mouths of the wolves. That thing, that thing is a beast. It's not going down. All right, we got some Burgundians here. And where's Joan? Oh, we got a men at arms. Is Joan of Arc even? Joan is not even here. I bet. Holy crap! Where the heck did she go? Oh, there she is. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to fight through these Burgundians, and you got to get Joan over to the west um, as quickly as possible. And uh, get her in the transport ships uh, over here and get her across the river right away. Uh, that will basically. You, wanna, you also want to try to bring uh, at least Sir Bertrand or something. Maybe a couple infantry, put them in these uh, transport ships over here. Uh, but you don't have to right away, it's really not necessary. But uh, if you do come across any enemies across the river, uh, you'll be able to uh, deal with uh, deal with those guys and protect Joan. So you want to get your transport ship away from them. And I'm probably going to lose some guys here. Oh, we got to salvage the pikemen, not bad. And that guy will go down, no big deal. So now that we have them in the transport ships, um, we lost a couple guys, but no big deal. We can sail on down here. And, uh, I believe there's a secret path in these trees somewhere that leads to the chateau that we gotta go to. But I'm not 100% not sure. I think it's down here. Uh, but you gotta stay out of the way. There's some galleys, I believe, that run through here. So, here it is, I believe. So, we're gonna unload. Get our guys away. <clears throat> and move on up north. Oh, oh gosh, man. I'm losing my voice here. I don't even know. All of a sudden. Beautiful. Oh, I got a transport ship there still. No big deal. Chill out there. And uh, we make our way easily up here. Uh, the reason I'm going the secret path, usually conventionally will come down here where I'm pointing. But you're going to run into a lot of Burgundian uh, resistance and other stuff like that. I mean, you just don't, you just really don't need to. You can just go on the secret path. I think that was intended to be put in the game just like so you can figure that out and make it easily more easily over there and yes we have made it Sir Bertrand has announced that for us too bad Jean de Metz uh, right there is uh he's dead he's dead he fought valiantly but uh hey we got Sir Bertrand I, I don't know I, I didn't really have a favorite couldn't didn't have enough time to develop my favorites between them but uh we got Joan the Maid, all right, and she's gonna be Joan of Arc pretty soon. I mean, who cares about Joan the Maid? Joan the Maid. No one ever refers to her as that. I don't even know where that came from. I think that was kind of, and and this is hilarious. They got a random militia sitting in the Chinon base. Random militia from the Army of France. Thank you for your reinforcements. Appreciate it. And the monk keeps stalking us. Get out! Of, get out! Go back! Don't you just stalking me? Ah, uh, the Chateau Dauphin. Alright, so that is the it for the first mission in the Joan of Arc campaign, one of six. 
and uh, we're going to be watching a quick cutscene here type narration, so I'll let you guys check this out. As Jean's footsteps echo down the marbled hall of the chateau, the fat and whispering dude did not but stare. The Dauphin himself seemed afraid as she kissed his feet. My gentle Dauphin, she demanded, why does England claim what is ours? Why are you not crowned King of France as is your right? The courtiers began to murmur. The Chamberlain whispered lies into the Dauphin's ear, but the Dauphin pushed the Chamberlain away and rose to meet Jean's gaze. She stands only to the shoulder of the shortest man, but all of us must look up to speak to her. I know not what silent conversation passed between the Dauphin and his would-be savior, but it was obvious that His Majesty was in the same throne as we. Alright, so it looks like Jones got some haters here, so we're going to have to set them straight. And I was crowned most valuable player in this one, along with Burgundy, and uh, got what crown winner, yeah, and winner, obviously. So, we're going to check out the scenario menu here, and uh, we're going to go play Maid of Orleans. March 26th, Chino. It is one thing for a band of dispirited soldiers to put their trust in a teenage girl. It is entirely another for that girl to be given command of the army of an entire nation. We were filled with pride when we heard the Dauphin's heralds pronounce Jean the Maid as commander of the army of France. So that she may look like a general, the Dauphin presented Jean with a great war horse and a suit of white armor. Jean instructed me to look for an ancient soul buried beneath the altar of a local church. I was skeptical, but not only did the men unearth a rusted blade, but we found that the sword belonged to Charlemagne, grandfather of France. I shall not doubt her word again. Still visible on the hilt was the fleur de lis. Jean adopted the fleur de lis as her symbol and had it blazoned upon her battle standard. Wherever Jean goes, the standard goes also. It goes with us to Orléans. The city of Orléans is one of the finest in France, but it is under siege by our enemies, England and Burgundy, and is about to fall. This war has dragged on for 100 years with precious few French victories. The people of Orléans need a savior. They are to get Jean of Arc. Okay, with the Fleur de Lis on our side, we got a city to save in the in uh, Orléans in this uh, this mission. Uh, I don't start my tam timer, so I'm not really going to play this one out right now. Uh, I'm just going to hold off for the next the next video. Uh, but in this, you basically have to escort Joan uh, to the city right here. And then from there, you go up here, which is Orleans up there. And uh, then you have to take down some of the British castles uh, and the British bases. So we're going to be doing that in the next video. Sorry, this was a short one, but I'm a little... I just kind of get a little paranoid when I don't t use my timer so uh, see you guys next time and thanks for watching this Age of Empires 2 walk